As an avid adventurer, outdoor enthusiast, and PhD in material science, I'm always interested in clothing that uses cutting edge technology. We're off to Aspen, Colorado to see how Strafe Outerwear is integrating Polartech's highly breathable and still waterproof Neo Shell into its garments. We can build a new kind of fabric, one that is waterproof enough to keep you dry in a snowstorm or in a rainstorm, but that can have you know, 10 times the breathability of, of these previously high-end fabrics. And so that's where they developed the NeoShell membrane. This jacket is incredible. The reason Polartex NeoShell is so breathable yet waterproof is that it has a hydrophobic membrane with holes in it. These holes are large enough for air and water vapor to escape, but too small for water to penetrate. Because the material is hydrophobic, the pores don't become clogged, which allows for continuous airflow outward. This means that when you get hot and sweat to cool yourself, that water vapor can escape instead of being trapped and turning your jacket into a steam bath. I flew in literally from Hong Kong. This is the warmest thing I had. And we went up to the mountaintop, 12,000 feet, 30 degrees out, super windy. I'm like, I'm gonna be screwed. Put this jacket on and I was so cozy. This lined hood was so nice. And then I started trying to follow your brother up as he's skinning up the mountain. And I'm like post holing it and started sweating and everything like that. And I thought when I was gonna stop, I'd be wet on the inside. And I stopped for a second and I realized I was dry. And it was really incredible. And I was totally fine just hanging out there. We're filming him going up and I had to stand there for a couple of hours and I didn't get cold at all. That's remarkable. You know, you could go skiing in Arctic parka. And that would be great to keep you really, really warm. But what it won't do is keep you comfortable because if you're too warm, you're going to sweat, you're going to get wet, then you're going to get cold. I mean, people previously really thought about that in a one directional street. And that's something that we put a really big priority on is building something that's capable of any jacket in our line, any jacket with NeoShell, you take it on the road and it'll handle whatever you can throw at it. I mean, we've taken these literally all over the world. Ski mountaineering racing. I, I, I come to Aspen and I'm learning about all these things that I've never even heard of. What, what the hell is that? It's the racing version of ski tour. It's, it's kind of taking that to the extreme. Um, so you spend, you know, all day or part of a day racing up and down mountains, hopefully in a pretty cool spot in the backcountry, pushing yourself and your gear to the max. You've got a lot going on. You've got a lot of equipment to manage and a lot of equipment to deal with. Even when that's all down, you gotta climb up the mountain. And then ski back down, often many times in a day. It puts a lot of strain on you physically, but also on your gear. I mean, traditional ski wear wasn't built to be able to handle that, right? Like it was built with one thing in mind, you know, Gore-Tex products were built to keep you dry from the outside. That's it. They do a great job at that. But what they don't do is keep you dry from the inside. And they don't manage, you know, body heat and eventually sweat well. And that's, you know, something that really we noticed pretty quickly as we as we got more and more into backcountry skiing and ski touring. Your body is going through very similar motions. It's generating heat in a really intense activity, and it's got nowhere for that heat to go. You're gonna get wet, you're gonna get cold. You don't have to be an extreme athlete, you don't have to go climb up mountains to go and realize you know, how much you've been missing, how much more comfortable you can be with these new generations of fabrics. So when I'm back in San Francisco and I got to put on like my dress shirt and all that, but I need to put a rain jacket on and go to work and I don't want to show up a sweaty mess, that's what I want to wear. <laughs>